FHRC Brony here. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm kind of looking that way. I'm supposed to be looking there because the camera is right there. But it, I know uh, it's something that I'm not used to. So if I look stupid looking that way instead of looking there, uh, I do apologize for that. Anyways, let's go talk about something. Um, uh, I was doing a little bit of research uh, sort of thing on Google. I was typing in Traxxas slash Courtney Force Edition and it pops out Traxxas Hawaiian slash edition. I was like, what? Well, why is it called Hawaiian now? So uh, I went on Facebook. I, I asked some of, some of the fellow RC lovers out there on the um, on Facebook, the Traxxas slash community, and Traxxas Russell or VXL, parenthesis, and RC in general. Uh, those are the groups that I'm in. That's the RC groups that I'm in. It's a really they're really good people out there. Some of them are crap. But majority of them are good. Uh, so I was asking them. I wrote on a post like, what was going on? Like, why are they? Why is it now called Hawaiian slash or Russell Bandit or Stampede? I I, get, I showed them some screenshots, okay, and then one of the guys replied to me and said, Courtney Force is no longer sponsoring tracks in her cars as she moves to Chevy and stuff like that. You know, she's no longer sponsoring. Traxxas, so she discontinued her contract. Okay, that was one of the reasons why she was gone with the Traxxas C. Um, and actually, that's two. She's she's has a Chevy, and she has she lost her con. She didn't renew her contract. And plus, uh, pretty much Traxxas is more licensed to Ford. They, you know, you've seen the Ford Raptor, the Bigfoot. I think the Bigfoot is a Ford. I'm talking about the old one. And uh, and the Ford GT. Yeah, okay. So that's that's th that's three reasons already. So licensed by Ford, um, contract, she didn't renew it, and she's driving your and and uh, Chevy. Okay. And uh, stuff like that, you know. However, there there is there's still there's still luck for you guys. For those of you who, who wanted to have the Courtney Force Edition slash Bandit Rustler and Stampede, but you don't have one, you're still in luck because Traxxas is still making these bodies, these these body schemes, you know, the color schemes for the for these cars. However. It's not going to be called the Courtney Force Edition. Let me bring you closer. It's not going to be called that anymore. It's going to be called the Hawaiian Edition. Okay. And, I mean, look at it. Th doesn't that look like look Hawaiian? I mean, some of you guys may disagree with me, but and that's fine. But to me, it, it does look more like Hawaiian thing, you know, paradise kind of thing, except a bit more has some grayish tone to it. But pretty much everything that, that I'm seeing here is pretty much like what you like colors of Hawaii, uh, Hawaiian colors, I should say. So there, it's now called the Hawaiian Slash. So if you guys gonna be buying a Bandit, Stampede, Rustler, or a Slash like this one with the Courtney Four style body, it's gonna be called the Hawaiian Edition. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but the uh, you can still call it Courtney Force Edition. It's essentially the same thing because it's it started off as a Courtney Edition. So uh, yeah, uh, and, and this is and like I said, uh, I don't know if I said this, but this is what you're looking at here is a legit Courtney Force Edition slash, especially the card that I showed you earlier. That's a legit Courtney Force Edition, and if you don't believe me, there's her picture right there. Uh, Yep, and that's yes. I know that's a Camaro drag car right there. I know that's a Camaro funny car, but um, mainly tracks is, is a Ford, Ford's um, a Ford license kind of thing. So, uh, speaking of which, I did make, I did make a Courtney Force replica of her, 
of her Camaro, uh, not the funny car, but her, but her, um, I think her showroom car of the Camaro. Uh, exact same decals, you know, the little X on the side, and then the black in the back with the uh, Courtney four slashes on on the rear fenders. Those kind of those those kind of things, right? Um, unfortunately, I did that on Forza Horizon One. The reason why I'm saying that is because the the real Courtney Ford's showroom Camaro is a 2017 Camaro S, I think SS Camaro SS. Whereas the one that I made in Forza, the one that I replicated, is is off is based off a Camaro ZL1, which was made around in 2011 and 2012. So that one is kind of a year older than the one that Courtney Force has. But, uh, you know, it's like, what does it matter? Camaro's a Camaro. Um, yeah. Nothing really is really different between each other. You know, body change, you know, exterior look, exterior looks and stuff like that. Maybe a little bit of interior, interior uh, changes and stuff, but it, a Camaro is still a Camaro, okay? If you're looking between the one that she has and the one that I have in Forza, but but all the same thing, okay. Um, but yeah, it's like I said, she didn't renew her contract. She is no longer with Traxxas, and uh, she does have a new sponsor. Uh, but there it is. You know, it's 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 all. You know, it's all well and good. Like I said, if you guys are gonna be looking for a for a slash stampede bandit or a rustler, that's a Courtney edition. Be aware that you're gonna be looking for the Hawaiian edition. But what's what makes the big difference? Is there a Courtney Courtney edition, Hawaiian edition, are pretty much the same thing, right? Name one or the other. That's all for now. I'll see you guys later.